Hello, my name is Stan Piler and welcome to ElectroArc. Broken caps, drills, bolts, and other fasteners are a real problem in the manufacturing world. In this demonstration, for maximum power and performance, we're going to be using our model 1025 bolt eater to remove a three quarter inch bolt. For this application, I'm using a square electrode and will disintegrate a square hole near the drill tap diameter. Once we reach the bottom of the bolt, a square drive can be used to back the bolt out. Or, if the bolt were galled into the part, a hammer and pick would be used to collapse the side walls and to extract the threads through the top. Using the selector chart that's fastened to the machine, I've preset the heat range and will adjust the servo feed at the recommended feed rate. A current monitoring circuit will continuously adjust the up-down feed for optimum performance. The bolt eater is equipped with a depth stop. When the machine reaches the bottom of the bolt, the machine will automatically shut off. We're going to go ahead and set this block up and let's get going. Electrolux splash bags are used to contain the water and we don't want to restrict that at all. Standard equipment for the bolt eater includes our power supply on a trolley cart for ease of transportation. At the back end, we have a three drawer tool cabinet. This is really handy for our operators because it keeps our cooling packages all together and it's on the job site when we get there. The disintegrating head has 12 inches of feet automatic depth stop, and an automatic servo feed controller. As the head is feeding down, the servo controller will make the adjustments for optimum performance. The superstructure has a magnetic base, 3,000 pound permanent mag base, 36 inch column, 15 inches of cross arm, and it has two radial movements. The head can rotate completely all the way around 360 degrees around the superstructure, and the disintegrating head can also rotate a full 360 degrees around the cross arm. ElectroArc manufactures molybdenum tubes for disintegration. These molly tubes are specifically made for the disintegrate disintegrator. Melting point for the molybdenum tube is right around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. In this case, we're using a graphite piece of material, which uh, is um, will last a lot longer uh, in this application because of its erosion rate. As you can see, the head is automatically adjusting, and you can see the servo in action here. Shortly, we're going to reach the bottom of this hole, and we'll be able to stop the machine and take a look and see what we've got.
Well, looks like uh, we've broken through, so I'm going to stop the machine and let's take a look. That looks nice. You can see the threads are in full contact here. Looks really great. So uh, the bolt feeder typically will disintegrate bolts up to inch and a half. Um, that's 38 millimeters and we can do that in one pass. For the larger bolts and studs, several passes side by side would be required. Regardless of the diameter or depth of the bolt or stud, the bolt eater is the right machine for the job. Thank you for watching this video, and should you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us at any time.